بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد The Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said that one of the which means one of the only things in this dunya that has any substance that is not cursed is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remembering your Lord tabaraka wa ta'ala and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala requires that we read the Quran and we read the authentic sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and we follow the path of the Salaf. And a beautiful athar of the Salaf of this Ummah by Sa'id ibn Jubair radiallahu ta'ala anhu or rahimahullah ta'ala he said every person who carries out obedience to Allah then he is one who remembers Allah making that easy for us that not all not only is it just that we remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on our, on our tongues but it includes all the components which make up our iman our faith so even reflecting on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala being conscious and doing acts of obedience meaning you have sincerity to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing those acts of obedience then this is a type of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so ta'atillah is intricately related to dhikr, to remembering him. And that's easy for us to do, to do acts of obedience, pray. Do those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you, fast. Do the uh, extra fasting, the extra prayer, the sunnah prayers. Avoid the haram. Strive to do as much as you can of the halal. Follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. All of those are acts of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they are all a type of dhikr according to the Salaf of this Ummah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with tawfiq, to remember Him often, and to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam, and be of those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.